Irish Hollow Cemetery. So my friend and I were going up to the lake today to uh, go do some Mother Nature shopping. And we decided to stop at a super old Irish cemetery. And I'm seeing Periwinkle, or Creeping Myrtle, as it's better known as. And we're going to walk up here to the cemetery. The, the cemetery is kind of spread out. It's kind of all over the place in the woods. As you can see, there are some very old tombstones. I'm going to walk through the woods here a little bit. Kind of sad because some of them are are broken. and But there's one. And I'm sure that there's many more in here. But we're going to walk this way. That was my first stop. Here are some more. Very old. Very old. They're all over throughout the woods. Just gonna be a little bit quiet. I have a lot of respect for the dead. If you can see all of them, they're all up in the woods. Very peaceful place. Now we're coming to a gated one. This gate is absolutely beautiful. The gate is gorgeous. Let's see if I can stand back here a little bit and get a better picture of it. Very beautiful. And the cemetery, it continues down this way. It just kind of goes through the whole wooded area. They're just sporadic. So I've walked a little bit down this, this two track here. And I'm coming up on another little gated cemetery. It's like it's not all one big cemetery. It's uh it's like a bunch of little ones but in a bigger area. It's uh it's it's quite humbling to look at. Very very old. So we'll walk down here a little bit more. See, there's one right behind me too. That one's not gated, but somebody did put an iron bar behind that tombstone to keep it upright, which is, it was a pretty common practice to do that with older tombstones back in the day. As you can see, there's another gated one down here. Oh, and I'm passing one right now. Here's another gated one. I gotta kind of climb up the hill here, so maybe my friend can give me a hand. Oh, oh neat. Oh, aren't these neat? These are headstones, but they were cut in log shape. Very neat. Very, very neat. I 
I guess what it would be would it'd be more like these are family plots that were buried together and some of the families put gates around them or fencing and over time you know they get corroded and they fall apart and but it's just very humbling to look at very humbling to look at really really love this it's beautiful and it's peaceful I'm gonna walk through here is really I'm not quite sure I've ever seen stones like this not not in the upper peninsula not where we live um I'm not quite sure what to make of it so if you do know and or understand what what this is about please let me know I'm gonna go over here and see what this is They're sunken in. I mean, obviously, they're very, very old. And somebody has put fencing around this to protect their their loved ones in their resting place. And the trail just kind of goes on and on through the woods. And you'll just keep seeing these little plots of cemeteries. So I'm coming up on a couple of big, big stones. And I'm assuming that this is a, it is a family plot. Um, so I'm thinking that this one might be a little bit newer than the others. Um, just because they're not as in rough of shape. Um, and they're not corroding and falling over and, and whatnot. Um, very cool place. Very peaceful here. So just when I thought I was done, I looked to my left and I seen this thing. Some kind of iron tripod thing in, in this plot. Like I said, I can't be exactly sure what this is all about. But it's different. It certainly is different. And then if I scan to my right, there's more. More stones. And to my left, also. And then there's one. I don't know if you can see it. It's way up there by that tree. I'll try to zoom in for you. There it is. Very neat, very cool.